I thought it would be fun for a challenge to try playing Project Zomboid as a character who has all the negative traits in the game. If you're not familiar with Project Zomboid's trait system, basically every character gets a few character creation points to spend on positive or negative traits at the beginning of each playthrough. It's a trade-off. For my character, I won't be taking any of the positive traits, but only the negative ones. Those of you familiar with the trait system will know that it's not actually possible to take all of the negative traits. Yes, I lied to you. But, for example, you can't be both emaciated and obese. That wouldn't make any sense. Or illiterate and a slow reader. So I'll pick the ones that I think are more debilitating to my character. I'm going to take a few minutes to show you what I think were the greatest potential threats to this character as I tried this challenge for about an hour to see what the greatest penalties were. Uh, and here's my rundown of the character's traits. Okay, so to be completely clear, we're playing as a character who is both agoraphobic and claustrophobic. All thumbs, asthmatic, clumsy, cowardly, conspicuous, disorganized, feeble, hard of hearing, has a hearty appetite, hemophobic, high thirst, hypochondriac, illiterate, unfit, obese, pacifist, prone to illness, restless sleeper, sleepyhead, short-sighted, smoker, slow healer, slow learner, Sunday driver, thin-skinned, unlucky, weak, and has a weak stomach. I tried to choose traits that would increase the difficulty though as much as possible. So for example, I personally find being overweight in Project Zomboid more detrimental to speed than underweight's negative effect on strength, so I chose obese. The only negative trait I won't be taking for this playthrough is death, and that's only because it would make the game completely silent, which just isn't as much fun to watch in my opinion. Okay, strategy for this character. As we're playing, it's basically going to be The Sims at first. My character is really needy. He's going to be thirsty, hungry, panicked, out of breath, tired, anxious, and depressed. Basically, all of the time. I'm going to be extremely panicked 100% of the time, except for when I'm about to go to bed. I'm going to be forced to play very, very slowly, as you should play the game, and I likely won't be able to fight even two or three zombies at a time. Yes, I'm writing this after I made the first video, but there's still a lot to go. Probably, of all the negative traits, the most crippling are agoraphobic and claustrophobic. Agoraphobic, if you're unfamiliar, causes you to become panicked while outdoors, while claustrophobic causes you to become panicked indoors. So my character is basically going to be living in a constant and perpetual panic attack, where he's always afraid of everything he sees in the world around him. Kind of like that guy from the bench warmers. I'm going to need to rely on finding items like beta blockers, red wine, chardonnay, whiskey, any other kind of alcohol that I can find, and anything else that lowers my panic just so that I can fall asleep each night. Because you can't fall asleep if you're completely panicked or even panicked at all. You need to be at least in a, sl or at most in a state of slight panic to fall asleep. So I'm going to need to chug a bottle of wine every day before I go to sleep. And if I can't find one, then that just means that I, I'm not allowed to sleep that night and I need to stay up all night. And that makes me in worse condition for the next day. Um, items like cigarettes, coffee, and vitamins will also be super useful because they're going to get rid of any anxiety and tiredness, which largely just causes me to do everything more slowly. And eventually I just turn into a snail and die. Um, other than that, I should be able to lose some weight and gain some strength just by running house to house and carrying around heavy objects at first, because for all the stat changes that I've done, my character uh, is going to have an easier time with those earlier levels. Since I'll be giving myself a significant handicap already, I'm going to play on Apocalypse Mode, which is a fairly challenging version of the game, but not too, too bad for an experienced player, and doesn't feature anything like sprinting zombies, though that could potentially leave room for an even greater challenge in the future if you guys wanted to see it. To make matters more difficult, I decided to spawn without any clothes on. I'll need to find those two by looting someplace nearby. Now, onto the place. Right. But my main things on my checklist are that I need to find either beta blockers, or alcohol just to reduce the panic. The biggest problem with this character is that, um, besides the fact that he sucks at everything, uh, and he will suck for a while, that was a really lucky early find, cigarettes, uh, is that he's constantly panicked. He's panicked both indoors and outdoors, and I don't think that it's even gonna go away over... My character is gonna get panicked over pretty much everything, and I don't think that's ever gonna go away. So my best options are to find alcohol and Food. I think food might actually calm you down before you go to sleep. I've just noticed it calms my character down, or at least distracts him. Um, we are playing on Apocalypse difficulty because I wanted some challenge, but it seems like that I actually got pretty decent early pickups in this one house. Uh, normally, I would just say stay in the first house all week. I'm also going to turn on TV because a lot of standard playthrough rules apply. 
It's pretty much just, as much as you can, never encounter any zombies at all, because when you do, you die. You can hardly walk across the street without getting tired. Um, let's just turn this on. And we're gonna put on life and living, because that should be on right away. Okay, so we are gonna get a little bit of cooking experience, but our decreased XP gains are gonna make it worse for us. Let's just see. I'm really curious as to how much it's gonna take for our character to level up in strength and fitness. Okay, so even though that he's morbidly obese, um, he he should have a pretty easy time at least getting some of that, but except I'm also going to need to get into a better weight range so that I can actually do that. Alright, so he's just going to sit here and watch the cooking show. Uh, I'm not going to feed him any more food because he's got to lose weight. What do I weigh right now, anyway? I weigh 105. Um, just going back over the traits again, I think... I, I really think these two, claustrophobic and agoraphobic, are the two that make it the hardest. The asthmatic you can do with thin-skinned, you can kind of plan around. The slow learner is, you know, a, a damper on everything, but it, it, it's not a game-breaker. High thirst, high hunger, you could just eat more. I mean, like, a lot of it's okay. It's, I, I really, I don't like the decreased XP gains. I think that's, I think that's one of the most difficult ones to play with, uh, in a long term. But, Still, I think that it's these two that just make every single day just an, a complete struggle. Which just lead me to constantly having this Moodle. Get used to the sound of my heart in your ears. Um, because it's going to be like that a lot. Alright. Okay, so we get the first level in cooking just from watching TV. That much at least hasn't gone away. Um... Even with slow learner, we could still do that. I'm kind of, mm, I'm kind of questioning using any weapon right now. I don't even think I want that. I just want to see if I can find some clothes upstairs. I mean, we got we got lucky with our early weapons that we found, though. I think that this would be more even more important right now. The status is that if I even step on broken glass, I'm dead. I am I am dead if I do that. Okay, some pants. Great. For some reason, you always have underpants. And we're gonna have to do a lot more exploration with tailoring from now on. Heard some really, really good things about tailoring, and it, I think it increases the ceiling cap of the game. Or the skill cap of the game. The ceiling cap. <laughs> Alright, let's put on some purple socks. Short skirt, I've already got pants on. I mean, any clothing will do right now. Damn, look at me, I look like Tommy Pickles or something. Alright, let's, uh... Could use hairspray and a bomb or something like that. I mean, I'm wondering, like, I'm gonna have to do everything I can, pick, like, do the best I can with every single item. But, on the other hand, too, I'm starting this up in Muldraw, because I knew the area. Maybe if I ever do this again, I'll pick a more difficult area, or I'll pick sprinters or something like that, but I figure. I mean, we're already giving ourselves enough of a handicap as it is. Why do any more? Okay, uh, can't do this car. Let's see if the trunk is open. Nothing there, too. I mean, like, the thing for me is that they say that this is one of the more difficult modes to play this game. But I guess you go, <laughs> you go full on hardcore six months later with this. Alright, let's just try to loot a few more houses. Basically, my goal for the first day is not to fight any zombies if I can. It's gonna be, it could be a pretty boring playthrough. Like, it could just be me, like, oh, I, I made it through another day without having a panic attack. And that's a lot of what my character is gonna end up just doing. Alright, short blunt class would not be bad. Uh, we'll take the chips, but that we don't really wanna, we don't wanna overdo it on the food, because he's already a fat man. We're also going to need to be very tactical about how we use the, the alcohol, or beta blockers if we find them. Fortunately, we're right by, uh, Courtman Medical, so I can find some beta blockers pretty early on. We get a magazine. Uh, another thing that tends to happen with this character is that uh, if you don't if you don't get to smoke cigarettes, he'll start to get bored and frustrated and anxious. Um, and you want to combat that as much as you can, and you want to just have like mood boosting items because your character is going to be in a pretty foul mood, which is going to slow down practically everything that he does. Um, might have gotten an early car find though. Let's see. I think if nothing else, like, I did do a little bit of practice on this game mode before I started. 
this isn't my first run. I wanted to see what would be the main challenges. And it just kind of hit home to me the fact that decision making is really the main decider in how long you're going to survive in this. One thing that's going to be take some getting used to and more forward planning is just the fact that, uh, well, you have to, you, I'm not dexterous. I need to, I'm the opposite of dexterous. I have like uh, two left feet, as they say. It's going to take me longer to do everything home to brush my hair with and nothing in here sounds like we might have a zombie in here though all right i'm gonna unequip this or equip it and there we go now he doesn't do horribly in combat against one it just it takes him like 10 minutes to kill a single zombie so you really can't fight more than one he also has a lot of trouble opening windows. I've noticed that. Like, I encountered a couple locked windows and my character couldn't do anything with them. Alright, let's just get this one. How many wax is that? Even, even for this character, this seems like a lot. Alright, well, we did manage to get, uh, these pants. Uh, I think, alright, my pants are already fine. Okay, we're gonna just take his t-shirt. So, uh, pretty much take everything off of him. Now we have a full set of clothing. And we can wash all this, too. Uh, another thing that he gets is because he's panicking so much, I felt like I started to notice this with my other character. I think from the new thermos, he starts to perspire, and then that makes your character wet, which he's prone to illness, so I might even get a cold in the later months. Um... Though it kind of brings in temperature again, because my character kept on getting hot. Okay, gloves. Take those. And it looks like we found a better pair of pants right here. So grab that. Replace pants with... Oh, wait, no. These pants are not as good as my pants. Are they? Ah, either way. We're going to have to figure out the t new tailoring, too. I think that'll help. That'll help me out a little bit, but... Uh, let's just try it. Oh, I don't even have thread, actually. Never mind. I wish I could. Let's still rip up these sheets, though, because we'll need as much stuff as we can. Um, we'll leave this behind for now. Alright, uh, hang on. One Really, when you're playing this character, it gets a lot more like The Sims, because, uh, like, in The Sims, you have all of these needs constantly, um, and you have to satisfy them. But my character's got about ten moodles now, and, yeah, my carrying weight is six. Alright, we, really <laughs> we really aren't going to want to carry around anything. It might just be better to pick a house... And go for, like, kind of a non-traditional playstyle. I'm going to throw down these magazines. I'm just going to put all my stuff in this bathroom here. That's probably going to be the best way to organize everything. Um, heck, I'll probably even take off the jacket. Let me just wash myself so I'm not dirty. Okay. Um, what do we have to take care of? Excessive exertion. So we're going to have to sit down for a while because our character is morbidly obese. Um... Peckish. We can't really do anything about the panic. I really hope that that goes away over time, but it, it might not. It very well might not. It might just be with me forever. Um, slightly thirsty and very heavy loads. So let's just take care of those things. Man, I really, I can't even, I can't even really pick up anything. I think I'm going to leave the wine in the bedroom only because I'm going to need to drink wine or take beta blockers every single day before I go to bed. In order, in order to get to sleep, I'm gonna be need to. I'm gonna need to be careful, not to like overdose on any kind of uh, substances. All right, we don't need food right now either, so we could just leave those there. Um, and at this point, I think I'm just gonna have a drink of water, and I'm probably gonna rest in bed just so that I have enough energy to cross the street. Because next we're gonna go to Courtman Medical, and we're gonna grab some beta blockers to hopefully have enough to get to bed for a few days. Really, the main the main problem with this character is if you don't find those items, if you don't find alcohol or beta blockers, you can just, like, you, you can never sleep, which which is what makes it most difficult, probably. All right, again, we're over carrying weight. Put down these soaps. And is that it? No, we've still got more. Right, the can opener is actually surprisingly heavy. And we'll put down the sheets. Put these pants in. I'll put those in here too. And is, are we finally? Are we finally below our? Yeah, I was carrying around too much anyway. It's okay. Go 
go put that on there and I don't need to be carrying tweezers around with me everywhere. I'll just leave all this stuff in the house eventually we will start to get stronger all right so now I'm resting oh actually good to see that my panic turns from extreme panic to panic didn't notice that though I don't think that you can get to sleep at all if you're if you're panicked at all like that uh, high exertion can barely want run. We really want to get down to at least moderate exertion if we're going to cross the street. Moderate exertion, if not better. Uh, I don't think we're going to do well at all, though, if we don't have so, You know what? I've given up on going to court and medical for the first day. We made it to one other house, and we looted the first house. So that's pretty much good for negative trait, man. Um, I'm going to have a drink of water. I'm just going to reassess the situation for a second. I'm anxious. Extreme panic. Hungry. I'm wondering if it's going to go down enough when I take the wine. I'm actually, I'm going to let my character be hungry for a little while. I'm going to try to eat only when I'm very, very hungry because I don't want to gain any more weight because I think it can keep going up. Um, Alright, let's see if this works. I don't think that the anxiety is helping anybody, but let's, let's drink some of the red wine. Let's drink... Maybe not start with the whole bottle. I'm just going to drink a quarter of the bottle and see if my panic goes down enough for me to sleep. But it'll be a waste of a bottle if I don't get this panic down, so I've got to make sure I do it. <laughs> he's, just, he's like that guy from the bench warmers who stays in the house all the time. You know, and he's afraid of the sun. Okay, it's going down a bit. Strong panic, panic. But I really need no panic if I want to get to sleep. All right, now I am a bit tipsy. Wonder if I have to get completely inebriated. Okay, let's get to sleep right now. Now I have noticed it go down to like less panic if you just eat food or something like that, or maybe it involves distracting yourself in some way. All right, we've got anxiety, and I think that's being caused by not smoking, so we need a lighter. Uh, we've got our panic right back for today. Uh, we have a half a bottle of red wine left for tonight when we want to get to sleep, even if we don't find beta blockers. Uh, we still are hungry, though. Skills, uh, oh, actually, so, oh, yeah, so your strength can increase. Oh, you know, fitness can, too. Interesting. Maybe that applies only if you're underweight. I'm not 100% sure about that. I'll have to double check that. Um, but... Right, weight is still not dropping though, so I'm gonna stay hungry for a little while. Maybe I'll eat a cracker or something like that, but as long as it doesn't decrease my strength. All right, is the coast clear to Courtman Medical? So we got four zombies there. Uh, I don't want to fight any of those. I, ideally, I don't want to fight any zombies until my strength and fitness are up and my weight is down just by a little bit. I'm gonna check this car first. I think it's. I think it's a safer pick, and I've got enough red wine for one day. Antidepressants will be a really good find. Okay, let's try the trunk. Car battery, nah, I don't really need it. I mean, as in any playthrough, you know, electricity and other things like that will still be useful, you know, for hot wiring cars, but... Uh, I'm gonna make more noise, so I'm probably gonna attract more as I move. Um, if I go into court medical... Even if the doors are open, I'm definitely going to wake up that one in front. I can't go around. Uh, oh, the, shit, there's one right in front of me. What I might want to do is just to clear out a little bit of this area. Just a little bit of it. I'm not going to have very good accuracy at all, though, so... <sighs> yeah, you know what? Fuck it, I'm not even going to do that. I, I don't think Courtman Medical is a good idea. I, I want to avoid combat at all, if possible, for these first couple days. Did I attract one already? No, <laughs> I was gonna say, that would be terrible. Oh! Right in front of me, I didn't even realize that. Alright, let's just fight this one. I might make a little bit of noise, attract one or two around here. I wanna thin them out just a little bit in this area, and then I'll try one of the other houses. Once we gain a little bit more experience on these houses, then we'll try to venture over to Cortman Medical. But I think there's just, there's too much over there right now. All right, are we exhausted yet? I'm surprised that we're not exhausted from that one fight. Let's see if we can fight these two. If we could fight them one by one, that would be ideal. But I'm not against. I'm not against a little bit of combat for this character. He needs some experience with weapons. 
Because he's actually not totally shit in combat. Like, you saw that. He could kind of hold his own a little bit for a second. Unless if I totally get swarmed right now. Mmm, no, I don't know about this, actually. Problem is that so much of combat relies on you being able to push down one right after another. And this character is just not strong enough, so he... He suffers, like, a steep difficulty rise when he goes from fighting one to fighting two, even. Most characters can take on two perfectly fine, but he has difficulty with even that many. One is still fine, so I think... We'll try for the rest of this playthrough to just fight them in groups of one. Right, I'm just gonna see if I can actually... Can I actually kill one of you two? There we go. Okay, I got one. Really gotta make sure that you don't get surrounded here, otherwise you're in trouble. Alright, so three is totally not an option. So for him, two is a lot. And one is bad enough already. Alright, let's see if we can actually manage to find some other stuff in this house. Because it seems like there is a, a decent amount of stuff in the houses. And you might get to see what I was encountering here. So, it it took him, like, more often than I could see for other characters to open windows. And I think it might be related partly to the strength stat. Just because it takes him so long for so many of these windows. Either that or I'm just getting unlucky with locked windows. Nah, nothing on this one. I mean, part of it could just be that I'm not being patient enough, but... Ideally, I don't want to make any noise, so I'm not going to break any of these windows. Okay, let's close this. Alright, we got pasta, can opener. I'll take these. Now what else? More pasta. Yeah, more pasta. Now we still... Like I said, we aren't going to want to eat. Like, if you're new to the game... We're not going to want to eat until we get a little bit more weight dropping. So I'm just going to let that keep going down a bit. I don't necessarily want to eat right away. we got to lose weight. If I were underweight, I'd be trying to gain weight right here. And it looks like there's one in there. Now, I don't even think I'm going to be ready to fight this one. So I'm just going to check and see if the rest of the house is clear. It doesn't sound like there's any in here. Antidepressants, a rubber duck, and a toothbrush. And I am getting hotter as we go. So let's... Oh man, okay, Moodle accounting. I gotta keep doing Moodle accounting, otherwise I'm gonna get killed. Uh, actually, screwdriver I could attach to my belt. That would be fine. No, wait, no, we're, we're already at a heavy load. I think it's just from the clothing that I have on that my character can't even, like... Like he's stumbling underneath the clothing that I'm wearing. <laughs> That's how weak he is. All right, we'll put down, I guess we'll put down the can opener too, but I want to bring all this stuff back to my first house. Well, for a while we're clearing out this house, we'll just do this. Still on an excessive load. Gotta get rid of that. Okay, I think that that might be the only zombie in this house, though. Just looking around here. Yeah, we're safe. Otherwise, we're safe. All right, I'm gonna fight this one... And then it looks like that's pretty much it for this first house. We found a plank, too. That's good. We might be able to craft something with that. Uh, let's just take out this one. Actually, you know, I, sh I should have been more careful there. I I kind of assumed that that was only one, but if that had been two behind the door, I could be dead right now. Man, I'm going to get it all over my new shirt. <sighs> that sucks. Oh shit, my pan broke. I don't know if that affects weapon durability. Let's just see. How is he doing with how is he doing with learning all these skills? Alright, very little on him. Maybe I'll take his key though. Uh sneakers. We got shoes right now, but I honestly think running away is probably Well, our character's pretty much like really fat already, so let's let's see if we can get him a little bit faster rather than the scratch defense. Generally I'm I'm tending to think that that's better for these types of characters. All right, uh, strength has actually considerably gone up. I think our character could catch up pretty quickly with some of that. Um, read the metalworking magazine. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I'm illiterate. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even do anything with that. All right, so no books whatsoever. Wow. Never even graduated pre-K. Um, 
All right, tell you what, I think we are gonna eat, or we'll, we'll grab this from here, but we are gonna need to get back to our original house, only because we didn't find any... Yeah, we didn't find anything. All right, I'm gonna just do a little test right here. I wanna see if eating works to reduce your panic. Uh, I don't think this will pay off, but for some reason it was happening in my, like, test series, so... I'm just gonna see if this works. I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm hungry, extreme panic. I really, I just gotta get rid of the extreme panic in order to be able to sleep better. Uh, carrying around the heavy load might not be so bad right now, only because it's gonna get my strength up a little bit, and that'll help us in combat. Uh, did I even check for beta blockers? Let's just check the bathroom one more time for beta blockers, see if we can find those. Cotton balls, soap, bath towel, and no beta blockers. No dice. Alright. Uh, let's see here, too. That was a plank. Nope. Alright, let's see if eating some canned soup is gonna save my life. <laughs> Or actually just save me some sleep. I have little to no doubt that we'll find some beta blockers in Cortman Medical. So that's why I'm being a little bit less careful. Otherwise you could feasibly just spend days being awake before you found those items with this character. It looks like zombies are now guarding our old house. Alright, let's just put down the griddle pan. Alright, I'm gonna eat some cheese. Sit on the ground. Looking out the window. Yeah, I don't think it actually does anything. It might have been something when I sped up time. I was just in a quiet room when that happened. No, nothing. Wow, that's too bad. All right, so we aren't losing our panic. All right, we're going to have to go back to the original house then, grab that bottle of wine, and go to sleep. Uh, but I think before I do that, I'm just going to... Since I'm at excessive... Ex yeah, since I'm at excessive exertion right now, I'm going to rest... Just till we have enough strength to get back into the old house. High exertion, I'd rather be at moderate. If we could get down to moderate. And uh, I'm ridiculously tired. Okay, so it's going to be hard to get that stat down. We're fluctuating between like really cold and really warm too. I didn't, I didn't fully experience that part of it, but it should be interesting to see how temperature comes into play here. All right, um, here's what we'll do. We'll go back to the old house, we'll drink the bottle of wine, and then we'll somehow get to sleep, because I gotta, I gotta get this stuff back. Uh, oh, sweater's actually a good find. We could put on the sweater and the jacket, and even though that it's gonna give us a slightly heavier load, we'll build up our strength faster, and we'll also have pretty good defense from scratches and bites. All right, so let's look at our character, too. How's he? Whoops, there we go. He is unemployed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, actually, has pretty decent scratch defense. And bites are a little bit... I think they're a bit less likely here. So it'll be good for that. Alright, I'm gonna have one last drink of water and then try to cross the street again. Yeah. And why can't I drink? There we go. Alright, extreme panic, hungry. That's fine. Let's just get rid of that Moodle for this moment, though. And we'll eat this. Okay, I'm going to attempt to cross the street to get back to my original, or to my secondary house. We'll leave it on peckish, because that's not going to give us any negative status effects. And I think this is pretty much just being caused by me wearing a lot of clothing. Uh, it was perfectly fine to get to this house, but now I'm, I've got a heavy load, so I don't want to undo that. We managed to get another meal. And unfortunately we didn't find anything of too much worth here. Oh, shit. I didn't even notice them. I should have been slower coming out of that house. I think they got aggroed to me over there, though, so I should be fine. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't have a weapon. I mean, not that that really makes a big difference. I'm pretty much just as well off with my hands and feet at this point. <laughs> See if we can do this. Come on, man. Die. No. No. If I get literally one more over... Okay, you're a crawler now. Alright, interesting. You So you decided to do that with your life? Okay. Let's take this one out. Man, the rotting flesh looks great now, I gotta say. Okay, we're gonna want to get away from him, only because I don't have much scratch defense on my feet. I've just got this pair of sneakers on. Uh, Alright, you know what? I'm gonna lure them over to the rest of this house. Maybe even inside of the house, because I'm not really at much risk of, you know, getting sick. 
from them being in here. And then we'll go from there. Come on, lady. <laughs> I gotta get to bed, man! Excessive exertion, ridiculously tired, and extreme panic. And anxious. If I could find a lighter, that would be great. That would get rid of the anxious one. <laughs> My character's just constantly having a panic attack. Yeah, this is what I mean by the weakness. <laughs> I am on the hitbox, right? I'm on the head hitbox? That's gotta be the head. That's gotta be the head. The other zombie, the crawler's about to get to us. I can't believe this. I might actually get bit on the foot or something. Look at the blood everywhere. All right, I'm gonna have to walk away now. <laughs> there, are two there are two crawlers. I can't even fight them. I can't even fight them. It's actually more perilous to fight a crawler than it would be to fight one standing upright. Because they can just turn around and get an immediate bite on my- like there's no- Like there's no warning when a crawler bites you. <laughs> so I'm totally- I can't even fight them. I don't know if they can bang on doors though. They definitely can't bite, bang on windows. I know that much. God, look at all that blood there, alright. You know what, we're just gonna go back upstairs. We're gonna forget that this ever happened, we're gonna drink some red wine and go back to sleep. Maybe tomorrow we'll get a chance to go into Courtman Medical and figure all that out. Alright, can I- can I at least get to- can I at least have my glass of wine and watch my stories? So I can get to bed. Fortunately, it takes only half a bottle of wine. I was worried it would take a full bottle of wine or more to decrease the panic. Never really noticed that. But you gotta be- you gotta be fast when you click into bed, you know? Because otherwise the panic might come back, and if you have even a little bit... It's mostly just managing panic at this point. Put this down on the ground. Slight panic? Okay, we could probably go to bed now. Alright, we made it to bed for two days, so... By my count, I've now survived 48 hours. Fortunately, your character does sleep a little bit longer. I actually like that, because I tend to think that they don't sleep too long. Um... But, okay, I think at this point I'm gonna leave it there. This has been the worst first two days. Not really worst first fruit two days. I think that this type of character, if you manage them well, it's you're gonna be completely fine, at least for a while. Um, until we get our stats up. I think that the two... The two lingering traits in the long run, though, are gonna be the agoraphobic and the claustrophobic. I'm gonna have to figure out some way to manage those fears. Maybe I'll have to go to therapy or something like that, but... Yeah, not the easiest playthrough. Anyway, let me know what you want to see next. Possibly this with sprinters would be even crazier, if not completely impossible, though. Anyway, as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Leave a comment, leave a like. Um, I'll put some links down for stuff I want you to click on. Alright, thanks.